So now that we're talking about loops, I want to point out a very common mistake I see students make. I've added one character to this, pro this program is from the last video. I've added one character, one stray character, which should not be there. It's this, the semicolon after your loop header. It looks innocent, but um, this is going to cause a major problem in the program. It does not go, it doesn't belong there. This is the proper syntax, no semicolon. So let's put that semicolon in there and let's run the program and see the effect it has. Okay, so I've run the program and all I see is a flashing cursor. Um, I'll remind you, this, is, this was the program from the, from the last video that was supposed to fill the screen with pink and red hearts and I'm not seeing any hearts. So what is going on? Let's end this. Okay, um, here's a weird thing about C++. In C++, you can have just a, a semicolon. Like that's a code statement. It's like a nothing statement. It's a, just a, a line of code that does absolutely nothing. So what we have here is a, a loop body that does absolutely nothing. So this is really what the loop is. I'm going to do like this. Okay. So this is the loop body. This becomes the loop body when you put that semicolon at the end there by mistake. And you're saying basically in this line of code with this loop header, you're saying do nothing, add infinitum. Okay. Do nothing until eternity, basically. So um, you have this infinite loop that does absolutely nothing, and that's why we're just seeing a blinking cursor. Um, the, as far as the pink and red hearts, we're never even going to get there, okay, because we're doing nothing to infinity. So the, the moral of the story here is do not put a semicolon after that loop header.